Hello. Well, if our sine, I'm sorry, if our cosine is negative three-fifths and the tangent has to be negative, that means we are going to be in the second quadrant. So we can draw a right triangle looks like this. So I'm just going to look at this angle here, even though we are doing this angle. So to figure out those other five trig functions, we need to figure out how long the opposite side is. So we're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. We get a squared plus negative 3 squared equals 5 squared. So we get a squared plus 9 equals 25. Subtract 9 from both sides, we get a squared equals 16. So a is going to equal plus or minus 4. But in the second quadrant, tangent is positive. So we want to use the positive 4. So now we got all the sides we need. The sine of theta opposite over the hypotenuse would be a positive 4 fifths. Tangent of theta will be a negative 4 thirds. It's the opposite over the adjacent. Cosecant of theta is a reciprocal of sine, so it's 5 fourths. Secant is a reciprocal of cosine, so it's negative 5 thirds. And cotangent is a reciprocal of tangent, so it's negative three-fourths.